Hi all and welcome to the video mum. Have you ever logged in and thought, God, my UI is just so cluttered. I wish I could run at a higher resolution. Well, you can. Now, some of you will probably already know this, and in fact, probably already be doing it. Now, hopefully this isn't going to break, because I'm capturing and running the game on the same system. So, here we are, we're at 1080p. Now, I formerly ran the game at 1440p, and that was because I had a 1440p monitor, and my UI and general sort of feel of the game seemed a lot less cluttered and had a lot of space. Unfortunately, the main panel died in that monitor, and I can find a replacement, and they're about $38 shipped, which is great. However, they come from China, and yes, minimum order quantity is 500 so that's a bit out of the window at the moment until I find some other sort of supply. In the meantime, I'm making do with my old monitor, which is great, but it is stuck at 1080p, which is generally okay for most games as the UI scales. Now, for AO, there is a way around that, but I'm going to log out in order to show you. Okay, so this only works on NVIDIA cards, as far as I know. Now, if we right-click and open NVIDIA Control Panel, uh, it may open up here. It's generally where it will take you. Now, there's a lot of tweaking you can do on this, um, and I do mean a lot. But we're going to go to Manage 3D Settings. Now, I've got this active, but just to show you how it looks otherwise, I'm just going to unclick all these. Say OK. Apply. And it should behave itself. Now, you'll come to here, Manage 3D Settings, and you've got Program Settings, which gets a, a lot more involved. It takes a little while because it's got to look at what I had set up for Anarchy Online. But if we go back to Global, you'll see this here under Windows 10, and it says DSR Factors. This has been around since around 2014, and its default is off, and the smoothness, which is a function of it, is also off. Now, if you see here, you've got 1.2 times native, 1.5 times native, and so on. So let's, just for fun, click on all of them. Click Apply. A little flash of the screen, and it's all done. Uh, the smoothness, apparently anything over the 33% is a big system drop and doesn't actually seem to make any difference. So we're just going to leave that at default. Now, if I now go to display and change resolution, you can see there it used to stop it down here. So I could go from 800 by 600, which I remember playing AO at that resolution because that was the maximum my little CRT monitor ran at all the way to 1080. And normally it would stop there. However, because of uh, dynamic uh, super resolution and really they should just call it dynamic scaling resolution because that's what it is I can now return to 1440p so I'm going to do that the video in YouTube won't change because I'm rendering it out in 1080 so it's done that now to my eyes it does look a little more blurred but it's not unusable so I'm going to minimize out of there and you can probably see, in relation to the rest of the desktop, the Anarchy Online icon and everything else, you can see the recycle bin was in the corner. It's now over here. And it's basically, you can glean from that, that this is where the monitor was. And this around the bottom and right-hand side is what we've gained by doing that. Now, if I restart Anarchy Online, go to the settings, and you can see here, I've got it still at 1920 by 1080 running window. Um, I have to do that because otherwise you get the squish. Now, I'm then going to use the drop down here. Uh, you can type in a custom resolution of any type you like on the new engine. But we're going to look for that one, which is 
2560 times 1440, which is where I used to run it at. I'm going to click OK and then click Play. And there we go. All looks pretty normal. Looks very sharp, in fact. Now, you, <laughs> the only bit of the screen that won't be sharp is, of course, the unsharp mask I've put over there. No, you can't get rid of it. It's there deliberately, so you don't get my login. I'm not that stupid. So we click login. There we go. Back on the little Froob guy. There we go, exactly as we left him. Now immediately you can see that the UI is exactly where I left it. It's dynamically stored on your system drive, not on the server. So we've done that and you can see this is where I had the nano target, fight, nan fight target NCU, my inventory. All of these were right over here up against the main window. The planet map has somehow failed. That's easy to get rid of, just click it on and off again. Power recycle for the win. So I can now move this all the way over here, along with that one there, and this, and my team window can go over there. I can move my chat windows down here to the bottom. So you can see from a sense of scale just how much more uh, actual game screen we've gained just by doing that. And our frame rate hasn't suffered too much for it either. It still seems to be perfectly fine. This is a two gig GTX 680, so it's nothing special. I'm sure most of you have a card at least that good or better. At least, I seriously hope you do. And I can move all these around. And yeah, that's looking good. What you'll probably find, though, of course, is the text has got an awful lot smaller to your eyes and can make it pretty damn hard to see. Now, you can dynamically change from the launcher what's, what size and what font type you actually use in the game. And I'm going to have to do that if I go any any larger resolution than this. Now at this we were hitting about 80 frames, we're now getting about 60, which is perfectly fine for AO. Uh, we can go, let's go to Borealis, see if there's anyone around there. At this time of day there usually is. Most people are off doing Inferno missions and whatnot. So your sort of static areas tend to not have that many people there. So it can look very empty. Uh, let's get ourselves to Bori. Mm -mm -mm. Avoiding the emergency exit. See if there's some bodies there. So there, we've done that. So the video's still in 1080, so you're kind of seeing it at the same scale I am, which is the scale of the monitor. Now, on screen to me, everything looks pretty damn sharp. There's absolutely no jaggies anywhere. It's looking pretty damn nice. So I'm going to go somewhere a little quieter to log out and for a bit of fun I'm going to ramp the settings even higher so we're probably best off just nipping around this corner where it's a little more sedate so yeah about here will do so I'm gonna log off here and then unfortunately you can't do this while you're logged into game now, for some of you, it will probably become difficult that I got there. Health and nano recharger, that's at. Uh, I've got 83 of those, got 50 stim packs. This sort of text here doesn't scale, which is the problem with doing it this way. On a larger monitor, it would be completely visible. This monitor is 1080p and only 23 inches, which is about an average for an awful lot of people. So there we go, we're out of game. Let's bring up the control panel again, and this time, Go for broke, let's go all the way to 4K, so 3840 times 2160. Let's click apply. Okay, okay. <laughs> My mouse feels very slow, but of course it isn't. It's just covering a much different. So you can see here now my 1080p desktop that was is just occupying one quarter of the screen all the way over here, and I'm having to move my mouse an awful lot further to get across. And on my screen, the mouse pointer is huge. In the video, it will be normal size. It's it's a scaling thing Windows 10 does. Now, you can see there, Anarchy Online is tiny on that desktop. So let's double click it. Now, I, I couldn't read that ULA if I tried. Let's click on Settings again. And this time, 
I'm going to go all the way down to, I can only, I, in fact, I'm not even sure I'm on the right one there. Yeah, there we go. So that's the 4K setting built in to the actual game. And we could as well change the font if we wanted to. We've got GUI. And you can see that I've got the default veranda at font size 16. I can change that. Uh, in fact, I'll probably put that font size four times 16 is like 60 something. So there we go. Say OK. <laughs> and we're going to hit play. Now, you can probably guess by how much, <laughs> how much smaller the little login window has become, how much bigger the actual screen is. So if we type in our little secret special password with many symbols and things in it. No, I'm not telling you my password, bugger off. So there's our fixer again. You can kind of see that's the in-game mouse cursor just by his chest there, his he emote. So if we hit the little tiny play button down here, We're running at about 90 frames. I don't think we're going to stay there, though, once we load the game. So there we go. I think I might have made the game, <laughs> the font, a little bit too big. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I would obviously tweak that. So let's move this down here. And the spam window. The map is practically unreadable. But you can now see how much more we've gained in the game by where all these icons are. So if you had a 1440p monitor, you might want to go to 4K. You know, if it was like 27 inch or even 30 inch. And it's still quite playable. I'm getting 46-ish frames here. 40 there. There's not many people around, so it's not likely to get too hammered. Let's go over here where we've got some more bodies. And there you go, I'm stood here, got 30 to 40 frames, which I kind of expect at this type of resolution. So yeah, it's uh, it's very doable. Although my desktop does look absolutely ridiculous. But we are using four times the texture memory that we were using before. But yeah, it's perfectly usable. It's extremely uh, smooth in actual fact. You can see a little compass there that you used to be on the bottom. 1440p is going to be fine for me. I think times four is just kind of silly on a 23 inch monitor. It's nice to look at, um, but I, there's, I can just make out that that says 50 there uh, and that's that there. But you know, looking at items in your inventory, you can kind of see now just how small that text is. If I needed to read that, I would just not be able to. Someone just buffed me with Winding Serpent, I think, which I think is probably, oh no, it didn't cancel Grid Space Freedom, that's good. So yeah, there we go. That's how to max out your resolution in Anarchy Online. And get a bit of scaling done. Although I think for most people, 4K is going to be a bit overkill. Like I say, unless you do have a larger monitor or much better eyes. Okay, folks. Bye for now.